Next up is Prada and they are closing it on the 21st. So I I couldn't even get my big head through the bandana. This is really cute. This is 319. This is gorgeous. Some Gucci Mama. Look at this new beauty. I love her so much, you guys. We are finally here at the San Marcos outlet it's been a hot 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 minute since we came here it looks pretty dead today the parking lot looks pretty empty but we are going to get started i have not been here in such a long time and let's see what goodness and greatness we find today what is up you guys you're watching Surge's secret i literally drove four hours for this vlog just for you guys okay because i love all of my subscribers so it would really appreciate it if you guys can give this video a thumbs up okay thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up if you guys could subscribe if you haven't subscribed i do shopping vlogs reviews and everything i am a designer sales associate so i know to talk about everything so if that interests you go ahead and subscribe but like i said give this video a thumbs up because i woke up at the crack of dawn to come here and today we are actually going to be using my ray-ban story glasses i'll be leaving some things in the description box um so these are ray-ban glasses that can record because sometimes some of the stories here can be kind of a little iffy but we shall see i came prepared um i got this from amazon like you did charge it i'm gonna leave this too in the description box 100 so if the battery dies no excuses we're gonna be recording we're gonna be everything it's literally thursday and it is so dead in here i think i'm gonna go ahead and put the video friday so if you guys want to shop this weekend it's literally dead like there are like nobody here i'm pretty sure they're mostly employees i want to go to las Copa neiman marcus you guys know that's where i usually start and then i and what i find from there determines where else i'm going to go but i usually go to every single store and i'm particularly i'm looking for things for my new york trip but i the one of the main reasons was to come to the saint laurent outlet because i do want to buy uh belts uh, i have been built with gold hardware and a black belt with silver hardware and so I think St. Laurent is going to be the place where I would find them. Those two things I'm looking for. And then probably maybe a nice pair of running shoes. Uh, just because I'll maybe be all over New York. I've never been before. That's also another reason to subscribe. And without further ado, I'm talking too much. Let's get started. We're going to start our last call. So what I like about these glasses is that they have like, it gets a little darker. But they do have uh, UV protection on them. But I never really use them to shop for vlogs. That's what I bought them like two years ago. But I usually just listen to take phone calls and then people look at me crazy because they don't think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> like they think that I'm like talking to myself, but I'd be having a full blown conversation in these glasses. But if you guys have been thinking about the Ray-Ban Story glasses, I honestly think that they're worth the money. I've had these for two years, almost two years. And I think that they're 100% they're worth the money. You deserve designer deals. Yes, I do. So this is a this is a promotion that they're doing. So let's see what they have in handbags first. So they have extra 50% off some designer bags. They have some Malaya, Stella, they have a Bottegas, and Amina Muadi. Those Alayas are really pretty. Team plus half. And they have some Louboutin. A Marc Jacobs chain right here as well more stuff here i'll find that's cute a little isabel Marat crossbody in this really pretty green color i have do i have been liking isabel Marat. her stuff are pretty good that is 284 and then you get half off of that that's actually pretty pretty good and then some phone cases you have one of these stimulator bags and another one too. I love this Isabel Marat bag. Um, I love the size, but I think the color was a little too dull for me. But I did try it on. I did text my friends about it, but ultimately I did not end up going for it. This would be a thousand twenty nine plus half off. This is in a chocolate color. 
I mean, mission accomplished. I came for it for a Dragon Bone, for a black belt. This has black silver. The Dragon Bone's very subtle. That doesn't necessarily bother me. These ones are for 200. It's 56. So I spent over 500. It's gonna be like 25 bucks for 200, like 90% off. Those are the other last one. I didn't really have any. But I really, really, really like this. It's a pair of Y cells. They're 247 plus half off. Maybe 125. I feel like my dad in these glasses, but they are super cute. Mm, best thing I'm gonna go to see. But it looks cute though, I look like sea tops. These St. Laurent ones. I'm also not a big fan of them. Tengo la cabeza mi grande. 247, but yeah, basically the store is half off, which is pretty good. They have more things. Mina Moati, Toy Bridge card case, the Saatchi belts, some Louboutin belts, some MCM, Medina, I think that's how you say it. I think that's Nancy Gonzalez. Some jewelry, but all this is excluded. So we're not even gonna go through there. They do have some Bottega bags. This pouch would be under a thousand, which is actually a really good price. They have a lot of this brand because nobody wears this. I do not wear that brand at all. They have some Tory, this Y cell one. Go through these ones here. They have. Uh, I want to see if they have like K or any of those brands, but I don't really see any. By far, this beautiful toe, who, it's 700, who makes you Nanushka. She had more like the row and more brands like that, but I don't really see that. Plus, the row has become really popular. <laughs> you guys have not been wearing it for a few years now, but shoes, you guys know I'm a size 41, and let's see what they have. So they kind of have everything by section. So they have like more booties. Um, I did say I was looking for a pair of black boots in my shopping vlog. These would be like $200. You sell a McCartney. Prada. Be half off of that. I'm kind of afraid to buy Prada shoes ever since what happened to my loafer. So let's see. Sneakers excluded. So I guess sneakers are excluded from the promotion. I guess non-sneakers, like loafers and stuff, which is totally fine. I mean, I am a loafer girl. Some Tory, those are, that's a newer style. Some Versace, there is a Versace outlet here. This is super cute. They do have quite a few of Tory shoes. They do have quite a lot. Oh my God, they have these, the Autry sneakers. I've been wanting a pair of these and they're here for 117. I've been wanting a pair of these. I would buy it for 117. And they have a few more sizes. Oh, but they have these colors. I don't like that. But I have been wanting a pair of Watchy Sneaker. This brand. But there's not my size. There's more small. But if this would, I would buy this for 117. I've never actually seen them in person. We don't carry these in any of the Dallas department stores. These. They used to not carry children's 11, 12. Oh my God, these Kate thong sandals, 4.15 and you get the half up. The Rossi, oh my God, these are a little bit too big. These are size 12, but these are a good shoe. I've used my Jomito Rossi boots so much and his shoes are really, really comfortable. I love Jomito Rossi. Look, an old school, the row sandal, because they have kind of like the older uh, stitching on it. They have a Loewe shoe here. Keep in mind, all the prices that I'm showing are gonna be half off. They have a pair of Amina Mwadis. They have even a pair of the Valentino ones. Remember, these were super popular like two years ago. They're definitely, I would definitely be six foot two on these. Y'all, like six foot two. So the Ginza one that I have. I own this pair. This is, and I paid full price for mine. It's actually $8.90, not $7.90. These are worth it, but I already have them. 
I'm thinking about this shoe if I want to get it. It's in my size. It'd be two hundred dollars. And I love Jamito Rossi. I don't really wear my Prada shoes that much. I kind of like the non-branding a little bit more. I like that they don't have a logo, but these are extremely good quality. My boots have been through hell and back when I was living in Houston. And these would be a good purchase. I, I wouldn't find first like this anywhere else, but I think these are good. This is Vomara for spring. It's so cute. I love this like crochet material. This Bottega Veneta leather dress. These totem jeans. I don't know if they'll fit me. They look a little small for 26. These would be $40 for some totem denim. That's super cute. If this was my size, I would have grabbed it. Oh my god, some Kate jeans. These would only be $150. I have to try these on. These Kate jeans are gorgeous. Look at that. I love me a good Kate. You guys know it's one of my favorite brands, y'all. Like, mira que bonita. $50 for some Kate jeans. They have these pants from the row that they have locked. These Kate leather pants. I think they're like more of a... They're black. Black? 700 should be 350. That's a good price. Some totem trousers. They have some. They have this Elias skirt that I trade on in the other one. I think this is so pretty, but it's kind of like this vinyl-y material. Oh my god, these Kate jeans. Oh my god, I'd be so happy if they were to fit. Valentino, half off of that. The lady said that it was kind of foggy here in Austin because I just drove here, so I kind of came at a good time. Uh, I do love mother jeans, so let's see what they have for mother, but contemporary is also a good thing to buy. These are, oh, they have mother jeans. Those are mother jackets. With some mother jeans, let's see. Size 29, but I don't like the rips on them. These, I am just don't really like a lot of distressing. 30. These indigo ones, I'm wearing mother jeans right now. These are the best jeans, guys. If y'all ever find them, y'all need to pick them up. 27, and these are my size. I have to try these on. I love leather jeans. And then they have snacks, which is kind of like they're like more funner styles, but I'm not a big size. These are 28, they're the stretch ones, white. I'm gonna try these on. This Legon set. I wish it was a bit short. I don't, I don't do skirts, but that's a cute set though. Oh, they have this beautiful Veronica Beard Blazer. I'm going to try it on. This is cute. They have it in the blue as well. That's what they have for Veronica. I don't really care for Veronica denim. I am a mother person, but they have all the other uh, brands too. Like Theory Vance. Cinco Sep is another one that I love. Uh, they just do items so well. Like if this was a blazer, I would buy this, but this is a dress. Sinkasep does really good like embellishments. That's what I love about them. They do gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous embellishments. Gorgeous going out items. ALC does a good job. I do like ALC. They have all these fun satiny Alice and Olivia blazers, but I already told you how I feel about those. They even have a good little sports section here as well. A little athletic wear. And then they have actually a lot of PJs too. It's like little turtlenecks. For 20 bucks. I might have to try this on. Very easy. <laughs> if you guys didn't see my last vlog, I went to Last Call and I bought a beautiful jacket. Money for like literally the sale of the century. It was $5,000 and I paid $500 for it. And that's what made me want to come here and check out the outlet. For my man, let's see what we have. They usually don't have too much. I have purple brand, which I cannot believe they have purple brand locked up. That's crazy. Balmain, Casablanca. This is really pretty, 700. Locked up as well, these like boxer shorts. 
So they have a lot. They have some products. They have some Montclair socks. They do have some brands excluded for the shoes. Like I said, I don't usually find a lot of luck. I'm in shoes. And, and then for the men, they have like these little Burberry detail here with some Louis Vuitton bracelets, some little SOGs. These little Dolce Gabbana's would only be $50. And then they have some sunglasses too. Some Tom Ford, St. Laurent. Okay, these are the things I'm trying on. This is gorgeous. And then some other jeans, Kate jeans, some other jeans, and then this little top here. But the rag and bone belt <laughs> I came here for and came here for these, but let's see how these fit. I love these. They're so cute. Yeah, these fit perfect. The half off of 116, which is definitely worth it. These retail for 278. So it'd be like $60, 60, 70, which I'm more than willing to pay for that. These mother jeans are white. I don't know how I feel about the ankle. They're a little see too, because you can see, you can see my underwear line. I don't know if this type of style was kind of like out or in. These are the Kate jeans. I like them, but they're too tight. Like I can barely, if they were a 27, they would have been perfect. They're just way too tight. Okay, this is this shirt fits good. The jeans fits good. Okay, let's try on the blazer. I love this with the white button up. This blazer from Veronica Beard, gorgeous. Wow, this is really successful. I love the jeans. I love the blazer. I love the top. The jeans are for my friends. The only thing that didn't work out, but I feel like my shopping habits have changed because I would I would have grabbed the size smaller if it was smaller. I'm just shopping for my actual size. Like this, Ulta Joe would have bought them just because they zip, but they wouldn't be comfortable and they would just be sitting in my closet. They're gorgeous. You know, 50 bucks, but there's no purpose of me having them if they don't physically look good on me they're too small but they're gorgeous so <sighs> maturing <laughs> so so my friend don't hook me up they said that Prada is leaving on the 21st so i came at a good time we're gonna go into valentino and see what we can find So in Valentino, they did have like a lot of nicer, more current and newer styles. Um, I know that's from a few seasons old, but I think for me, Valentino was still a little expensive for it to be an outlet. Um, they did have like a lot of the Roman stud shoes, Roman stud bags, like things that were in department stores last year that were very heavy hitters. They had some classic Valentino belts, but those were more in the front, but um, the employees were in the front. So I was kind of more in the back of the store. They did have good things, but I personally would prefer to go to nfc's and department store or like neiman marcus last call where they did have like a decent valentino ready to wear section um they had nice things if you like valentino you'll find something but 
I don't I think it was a little too expensive for what it is especially when you can go on third-party sites like department stores and buy Valentino for a little bit less these were giving like the prices of TJ Maxx runway if you ask me so now we're going into the Prada store they close on the 24th and Balmain will be replacing that space um, this is a Mew Mew bag, you know, all the essays, I, I, you know, they watch my videos and stuff, so we be chit-chatting. I did love this hat, this was $520. They did have a decent amount of things that were actually from the regular store, so like that was from the regular store. So anything that was from the regular store was additional 10% and like stuff like that, that was from like Outlet Made, that was 20% off. I did find this top, but I found Prada, um, I don't know, I think they were like skimmed through, they probably haven't gotten any trucks in, um, I did love this shirt, which I did try on, which you'll see momentarily, I did love it, but, oh, they had little cute baby shoes, um, as well, but Prada was okay. This bandana did not, <laughs> the bandana did not go over my head. The jeans are cute. They're not flattery at all. Like this is not flattering in my big head. Yo, no. Look at my hair. It got messed up. I couldn't even get my big head through the bandana. This is cute though. Pero no. Two, three, five, ten. I love the green on these. Six thirty-five for the gold. Well, at least they gave me a shopping bag, but man, those clothes did not fit. The shirt I liked it, but it just didn't fit. Now we're gonna go into the museum. I really like it. And it has like a nice little added security. If you are a fan of MCM, this is more a classic. It'll be 752. I love that MCM bag. It was 299. There's a Toy Birch outlet. That zebra print is super cute. I've been seeing a lot of the brands do it. Super cute. But let's go into Mr. Jimmy Choo, Curly Herrera, and Gucci back to back to back. never been to Carolina Herrera in a long time, so we'll see what we'll have here. So now we're going into Carolina Herrera. The music was so loud, but the employees were super nice, super chill. The store went basically by like the longer it's been there, the longer the discount, kind of like when Ethereal was at the San Marcos outlets. Um, they did have a really nice, decent ready-to-wear collection. I will say like a lot of the things you could wear now, even if it was a few seasons old, a lot of it was buy now, wear now. And I would wear a lot of it. The store was a little bit smaller. They did tell me it was a little bit more slim pickings um, as I went. I didn't expect to find like classic current bags. But I did expect to find like decent ready to wear. I love this scarf. Um, it was originally $300. It was $200. I was contemplating now that I see it. Uh, I liked it but I didn't love it. 100% wool. That's the store. And yeah, they I, I, I love the store. I think they had a really decent collection. I love this jacket so much. I haven't been into jackets like this since I was personally in high school, so um, I just had to try it on because why not? I believe this was more of one of their smaller sizes. I know I kind of look bigger in the frame. Don't worry, I am going to be back on losing weight, but I think the jacket fit me pretty well. My mom really liked it. She was actually shocked that I didn't end up buying it. Because, you know, I text my mom everything <laughs> before I buy it, but... 
Um, yeah, they did have a lot of women's shoes. Obviously, slim pickings. I did like how like that CH kind of looked like a, a Van Cleef and Arpels Clover. Um, but they did have nice shoes. So if you're looking for Carolina Herrera shoes, the like this shoe right here was like I think two hundred dollars. Yeah, two ten, and they, that was in my size, but just not my style. But if you're looking for shoes and to ready to wear, I think that this is your place to go um, for men and for women. And they also did have children's clothing as well, which I did not know that. I haven't been into this outlet ever, but it was really nice and interesting to go. Everybody has been everybody has been so nice to me. Everybody, everybody. No, they have like the little dinosaurs. All this is a full price section. They have some blondies. That exotic one. Those bamboo handles. And special price. Let's look at the price of that one. Oh my god, this wallet is special price. I have to find out the price of it. That, that, I love this. I wonder how much they want for this. Let's see how good the quality is. Oh, it just says, I wonder what it is. This is gorgeous. Some Gucci Mama. 1,215. 1250 that's cheap $1200 I wonder what the price for that one is so Miami Hamptons 1030 Sydney tote $700 for this tote this is a pretty good price yes it's the Sylvie One sixty, one thirty. These are my signs. 140, 140, 110, 115, None of these catch my eyes. I have some special price on some watches, jewelry, and a thing super, super exciting. But we'll see how the quality comes out. These are strawberries. And this is just regular. And they have more special price. What's inside my bag? I like Gucci belts, but this green one is super cute. 365. I love me good green. 115. These are 95. 1200. Five forty. Those are two forty five. Two twenty five. Nine hundred for this. Three fifty. Maybe it's 
in a definite spot. Okay. Do you have some? These are so cute. Two forty-five. Three, like, like six hundred dollars for the set. Three seventy-five for the sweat. Three forty-five. And they have more ready to wear, and this is what men's is. Like. Some special price. Two ninety five. Nothing really special in the ready to wear section, but those boots are everything. So I'll give you some room for the hair, though. These are so cute. These are two thirty. Oh my god, I did some damage. Uh, damn, today I've definitely been shopping. I feel like I have not been shopping like this in a hot minute. So now we're gonna go into the designer stores and see what else we find. Uh, um, yeah, I love the loafers. The loafers for two hundred thirty were definitely a okay. yes. I can finally retire my other Gucci shoes. I love these clogs. Three sixty nine. These kits three twenty nine. Three twenty nine. Mm. Let's see what else they have for boots. These classic Chelsea four seventy nine. To be perfect, they have even like forty nine to have you on one forty nine. Once these are one seventy nine. These are. They also have the black on black. 189. They have them in the croc. 209. I love them.
have a lot of these like notebooks and stuff like that maybe today's been a good successful shopping day there's a jumper that i'm gonna try on i like the belt The Misa Michelle is always too big. This is a good size with the haircut for rodeo season. I think it's a good purchase. I love the belt with the same amount belt too. I think it's a good choice. The guy at YSL, the lady at Gucci, their closing Prada. They told me that that's going to be Balmain. But everybody has been so nice to me. So now going to Versace, but today has been by a, an eventful day. So now we are at Versace. Everybody's been super nice, but um, we're gonna be trying on something. So the promotion that they have here, it's like the price. So Miras is 17, 75 plus 30. Have some dresses. This is so cute. And I haven't even like felt like I've been to all the stores. I haven't been to Burberry, I haven't been to Vince, I haven't been to Ferragamo. It's like 25 plus a 30. These bomber jackets, so cute. Yeah, for men. These jeans are cute too. I do quite like them. It's a bonita. I love these. Five seventy-five. You know me. I always grab a t-shirt chunky loafers. These weird ones. The last pair. I'm in a little slime. Four twenty-five. Two thousand plus thirty percent off. Oh, they even have classic La Medusa. These that are perforated are so awesome. They have like a little stud, like a gourmet style. Not chunky. And they have some belts too. And they have an additional 30% off. Y'all go visit Juvia at Versace. She was so nice. Super, super sweet. It's still dead here. We're going to go to Ferragamo and potentially see if they have anything that I think is worth it.
271. Oh, I love these. So cute. They have them in all the other colors. Mints and neons. Am I the only person that hates Lululemon? I just like Lululemon. <laughs> Look at my Jacobs. LOL. We have a lot of like full price. I noticed that some of the outlets they do that. I'm assuming some of it is sale and some of it is full price. Like this is full price and this is like more outlet like for here 189 this is really cute this is 319 los calzones Burberry puedes comprar for 49 and calcetines también some shoes 509 575 359 Two more excluded for promotion And some more like Burberry 300 for a screen print is crazy 175 for this This is what Burberry used to be priced at This is like a little kind of like you are kind of print style 189 even for the kids about to have that's crazy Burberry used to not be that expensive even like five years ago it was a little bit it was a lot more reasonable because it's supposed to be you can fold it six forty the sweater that I have they have a lot of the quilted jackets with the belt more of those sweaters in the red and the cashmere this is really cute 920 I think that's the price of it but I'm pretty sure these are made for here if I'm not mistaken because I haven't seen that in retail more of like the round bags these raffia ones these are outlet styles too if I want to spend the night in Austin or if I want to drive back home the drive back home it's like two and a half hours which is totally fine but I don't know if I should drive back home or stay in Austin but <laughs> I am obsessed with everything I'm gonna sit down on the bench for like five minutes I need to sit down This used to be that one. Uh, sure this is so cute. It has this. Yeah. That's cute. So yeah guys, I ended up going back to Dallas to finish the video. So right now I'm editing the video. This video will go out on Friday. On Saturday, I will be doing a shopping haul on the things that I bought. I did buy some things for me and my friends. 
I did go to other stores, like I went to Vince, I went to like Pottery Barn, I went to CCO, but the vlogs are already gonna be 50, like 45 minutes long with this video. So I didn't want the video to be super, super long, but I think we hit a lot of stores that I typically don't go to in, in Texas, like in Dallas or Houston. So that's what I particularly focused on, but I did go to Junienburg, I did go to Brahmin, but I just didn't want the vlog to be super long and I want to focus more on the brands that you request for. So give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe button. I did a little turnaround in less than 24 hours to put this video out for you guys. So uh, I did put the effort in it. So give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on Saturday's video, which will be a haul on the things that I bought. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys and take care. And also, what did one more thing too that I forgot? What did you guys think about the quality of the Ray Ban glasses? Do you think you're okay with me using it in future vlogs when it's more harder to record? So I can show you guys the goodies, the deals, things that are in the boutiques. So let me know what you guys think of the quality because I sprinkled them in throughout the video, particularly more on Gucci. So let me know what you guys think on the Ray Ban stories as well.